All right, let's continue uh, and prepare or do part A. We're going to prepare an income statement. Uh, as for my door, there's nobody there. Maybe I was just hearing things. I also have foster kittens in the house, and so they might have been banging around, and that might have been what I've heard. I'm going to uh, show you the foster kittens at the end of this video. I'm going to run and get them, so stay tuned for a little bit of bonus content there. I'll, I'll run and grab them uh, so you can see how cute they are. Um, but let's prepare our income statement. I'm suspecting this will be my most viewed video ever because of uh, kittens. Um, let's prepare our income statement. Again, our summary of revenues and expenses. All right. So when we get into this, all accounting uh, statements uh, have titles and the titles are very consistent. They're three line titles. First, the name of the company. I should have remembered that uh, before I scrolled down. Our company is called Sherry's shuttles okay then the name of the financial statement and then the date so sherry's shuttles and we're preparing an income statement uh and what is the date here well it's and income statements get dated in a specific way i'll explain at the end of this video series but it's for the year ended and then the date and it was december 31st 2017. so again our title is a three-liner name of the company sherry shuttles name of the financial statement income statement and for the year ended it could be for the month ended or for the quarter ended but this one was for the year ended december 31st 2017. now this phrase very very important and again i'll explain why but you can't leave it out you can't just date the thing um, okay, so let's get to it. We said we want to summarize our revenues, summarize our expenses, and take our revenues minus our expenses to compute net income. So we'll start with our revenues, and we'll even include a heading here that says revenues. So let's see, what were Sherry's revenues? Well, if I actually want to kind of highlight a few things, I go, okay, well, let's go down the list. I'm going to need revenues. I'm going to need expenses. Uh, expenses. Let's see any other expenses here. And I think that's it. Yeah, those are my revenues and my expenses. So I've got those all uh, sorted. Uh, let's go ahead and prepare our income statement then. So I take my shuttle revenue. And my shuttle revenue was, oh my God, I should have remembered. Oh, I do remember the number, 69300 I deduct out my expenses. Now, you'll see as we get into more involved financial statements, we can actually classify expenses as being operating or non-operating and income taxes are their own animal I, I don't think we had income taxes here or interest expense gets treated a little bit differently in the cost of goods sold also does that's another type of expense we haven't touched yet um for now just go okay let's list our expenses and we can lump them together we're we're still beginning so uh in terms of order of expenses I'm not very concerned. Your prof may be. I'm just going to order them in the order I see them. Uh, your prof might say, oh, it's ordered from highest to lowest or, or alphabetically or some other way. I'm not going to be concerned with that. I'm just going to order them in the order I see them. But again, I caution you uh, to follow whatever your prof likes to do for format. So when I'm listing expenses, the first one I had seen was fuel expense. Oops. I list on the left and I total on the right. I kind of make two invisible columns here. And again, that line does not exist. And on the left, I list amounts. And on the right, I total them. Again, this these headings don't exist. None of this exists. I'm going to erase it at the end. Uh, fuel expense, 11000 Depreciation expense was the next on my list. That was 2000 scrolling back up uh, insurance expense 4000 telephone expense 400 
These are all the costs of our running our business. Scrolling up again, wages expense 30 grand, utilities expense 1200. Oops, what was the last one? Utilities. I think I was going to call it telephone. Utilities expense. Okay, so we've got a big long list of expenses. Now we've got to add it. So let me get my calculator out here. Do I still have it? Yes. Uh, okay, so let's add it up. 11 plus 2 plus 4 plus 0.4, 400 is 0.4 thousand, plus 30 plus 1.2 thousand gives us 48,600. Okay, so that's our total expenses. Again, in different formats, we might call this our operating expenses, and if we had any other non-operating items, but this is our first uh, income statement, so we're going to keep it pretty basic. Our total expenses was 48.6. Oh, I made a mistake here. We don't total at the bottom of the column. We total on the right. I broke my rule here. List on the left, total on the right. So totals go on the right. 48,600 goes on the right. So at the outset, we said we want to know if we made a profit. Revenues minus expenses, the stuff we earned minus our costs of earning those revenues uh, tells us if we made a profit. Our company did make a profit. Our revenues did exceed our expenses. 69, uh, I better do this in my calculator, uh, 69.3 thousand minus 48.6 thousand gives us 60, what? <laughs> I think I made a mistake there. 69,300 minus 48,600 gives us 20,700. That is our net income. That is our bottom line here. That is our profit. That tells us, did we make any money? The answer is yes, we made $20,700. Now, I still have to fix some formatting. First, these lists and totals should not be here. The dotted line should not be here. The bottom line of any financial statement gets double underlined. The top line of each column takes a dollar sign. So I've got two columns, two dollar signs. And the bottom line also takes a dollar sign. So at this point, I'm pretty satisfied. I've got a three line title. Sherry Shuttles, income statement for the year ended December 31st, 2017. I've got my revenues minus my expenses equaling my net income of $20,700. Uh, $20, $20, um, one final thought here is, uh, was this a good year or a bad year for Sherry? We don't know. Uh, if last year, in the last five years, she had been losing money, you know, net loss, net loss, net loss, we would say, oh, $20,700, that's great, she's finally making money. If the last five years she was making $100,000 every year, and this year she made twenty, we would say, oh, only twenty. why just twenty? So in uh, a vacuum like this, we just can't determine uh, how Sherry Shuttles was doing. We can't say this was a good year or a bad year. We know it was profitable, but we don't know if it was good or bad. Okay, folks. I've promised a kitten show. I intend to deliver. Uh, you can pause this video if you want to just see that. I'm going to actually make my picture larger here, and I'm going to go get the kittens. Whoa. Okay. I feel like I'm exploiting these guys for views, but I am. Were you guys making all that noise? Huh? Were you making all that noise? Their brother and sister named Marco and Polo. Both male names, though. Uh, but they are cute and very fun to have around. So anyway, I think they were the ones that I thought was banging on the door. 
All right, folks, I'm going to leave this video here before I get clawed to death. Oh, my goodness.